going to show you how to solve equations that contain fractions. So something may be looking a little bit like this. It can look a bit scary at first, but honestly, just follow the same rules that we've been using for um, solving using the balancing method and you're going to be absolutely fine. Um, I suppose the first thing to work out is on this side, what's the first thing that I'm going to do to um, get x on its own? So let's look at what happened to x. x was divided by 5. Then we subtracted 7 and we got our answer of 3. So we can think of this like a function machine. So we started with x. We divided x by 5, this bit here. We then took away 7 and out popped our answer, which was 3. So if we want to undo this process, when we start with 3, we would have to do the inverse operation. So instead of taking 7 away, we would add 7. And then the inverse of dividing by 5 would be times in by 5. So let's see where that gets us. 3 plus 7 would be 10. 10 times 5, out would come the number 50. So this is the value of x. 50 divided by 5 is 10. Take away 7 is 3. Remember, you can always check your answer by substituting back into the equation. So the important thing to remember is what do we undo first? We always undo the last thing that happened to x. And the last thing that happened to x following vid mass would have been we would have subtracted the 7. So try and think of it as vid mass backwards. If I was showing this using the balancing method, Rather than a function machine, I would show that I was adding 7 to both sides, leaving me with x over 5, and then 10 on this side, and then to finish off the inverse of dividing by 5, which is to times by 5. So x would be 50. Okay, I've got one more example. It's a slightly trickier one. 8x minus 72, all divided by 2 equals 8. So what am I going to um, rearrange first? The first thing that happened to x was that I times it by 8. Then I took 72 away from it. Now, because we've got this division line here, this acts as um, kind of a break in what we would do. So we, in fact, would do everything above the division line. We would then do anything below the division line, which in this case is just divide by 2. So I'm going to do 8x, take away 72, then divide everything by 2. So the last thing that happened on this side was that division by 2. So if I start with x, I would times x by 8. So I get my 8x. I would then take away 72. And then I would divide that answer by 2 and out the pop the number 8. Working back the other way, using inverse operations, this time I would times by 2. 8 times 2, that would give me 16. The opposite of taking 72 away would be to add 72, which would give me 88. And then the inverse of multiplying by 8, divide by 8, which would give me x equals 11. So let's just show you that using the balancing method rather than the function machine. The first thing to do would be to multiply both sides by 2. So 8x minus 72 would be 16. Then I would add 72. So 8x would be 88. And then I would divide both sides by 8. So x is 11. And again, if we just quickly pop that into the equation we started with, that would be 88. 8 times 11 is 88. Take away 72, which is 16. 16 divided by 2 gives us the answer of 8. So we can always be sure we've got the correct answer.